Instar Alpha Paints, a one-of-a-kind paint that was designed entirely from the ground up to be easy to use for any level of painter, as well as give fantastic results and look amazing on the tabletop or display cabinet. So you get your delivery of Alpha Paint through the door, you open the bottle, you put it on your palette, add some water plus, thin down the paint and start painting, only to find that very quickly that the coverage isn't really that great, but we said that the paint was easy to use and gives fantastic results. So let's start again. As you can see from the start, Alpha is extremely thin right from the very beginning and this is entirely normal, needs no further thinning and is ready straight from the bottle. For best results it was designed with a dry palette in mind, however you can use a damp wet palette. Not a saturated one, but a damp one. A traditional setup for wet palettes thins Alpha far too much, almost to the point of a wash and results in poor coverage. A damp palette will allow Alpha to draw up as much water as it needs without over thinning. Applying the paint is, as we said, very easy. Instead of dragging the brush across the model and forcing the paint off the brush, you're instead letting the paint flow off the brush by itself with barely any pressure being applied to the model, almost as if you were using a felt tip pen. So essentially you are moving the brush to where you want the paint to go rather than moving the paint to where you want it to go. And this is what makes Alpha different from traditional paints and making it so much easier to use. However, there are a couple of things that do need mentioning and this is the difference between the premixed paints and some of the pure paints. We'll cover this in a further video, but the pure paints were made to be combined together rather than be used by themselves. Yet unlike another brand of single pigment paints, ours are all made in exactly the same way so will give different effects depending on the type you're using. Pure blue in this case, being an organic pigment, is naturally transparent compared to the alpha dark blue which contains an additional inorganic pigment to give it a much higher opacity at a cost of its chroma value. You can still get great results with the pure colours but some of them may need more coats than others and are best used entirely unthinned. It's also a good idea, even with the premixed colours, to ensure the layer is dry before you apply the next coat to prevent layer tearing. But with Alpha, they dry quickly enough so that by the time you revisit an area that you've painted, it should almost be dry. It's also a good idea that your brush is totally dry between applications. If your brush is damp between cleans, it will start to thin down the paint in your brush and give unwanted effects. It does not have to be bone dry, but just with as little water in it as possible. To avoid any drying issues on the palette, you should only apply as much paint as you need for an area you're doing and not to dispense the paint before you're ready to use it. If you're doing a large amount of colour, around 5-10 to 10 drops is enough to complete the model before the paint is dry on the palette. However, by reintroducing some water plus occasionally, you can keep the paint in top condition for longer. With a little bit of time and practice to get used to how these paints work, you can very quickly get some great looking models in your display cabinet or tabletop faster than ever before.